don't chase the money. Go after the opportunity and continue to play in better league. Just continue to, to move up. The money will come. The money will come. Crawford looking to drive at Anderson and will that count? Yes, it will. Good move from Crawford. Strong enough to Crawford. Let's fly from three point range and hits. He's up to 15. Wow, Crawford turning it on inside outside. Offensive threat. Crawford again. Wow! Unbelievable! 26 first half points! Hi everybody, we have Robert Crawford with us. Um, he is uh, playing for the Worcester uh, Wolves. He had a monstrous uh, game uh, the other week. If you're not, uh, uh, if you didn't see that, we'll link the uh, great highlight reel uh, below. It's really a spectacular game and it was fun to watch. Yes, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. So, um, Robert, uh, we here at the Import of the Week uh, sharing some uh, ideas with the uh, young guys that look into uh, get into pro basketball. And the other phase is to know uh, a little bit more about the Import of the Week. So, um, tell us about uh, your hometown. And we, before we got on, uh, uh, we had the little uh, discussion about your original hometown or uh, uh, childhood hometown kind of thing. So, sh share with us uh, a story or two. Well, I'm uh, originally from Memphis, Tennessee, but I moved to Tulsa, Oklahoma when I was eight, eight or nine. Okay. And I grew up there with the high school. I went to high school at Victory Christian High School, mm -hmm. private school. South Tulsa, and from there I just kind of, I, I was there from, my, from fourth grade until all through my high school, and then I went to uh, college at, I went to a junior college at Connor State College, and it's like a town like right out of, outside of Muskogee, Oklahoma. Mm -hmm. From there, I transferred and went to Central Arkansas, and I played under NBA, he's in the NBA now, uh, assistant coach for the Phoenix Suns, Corliss Williamson. And from there, I just kept playing, and now I'm here. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Absolutely. So uh, you went to the neck of the woods of Memphis, in a way, right? It's right yeah. next to Little Rock. Right in the backyard. In the backyard. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. That's awesome. So uh, uh, any shout-out to a uh, high school coach or, or a, a childhood uh, uh, team uh, teammate that you want to mention? Uh, it's, so many, it's so many people. Brian Wakeley, my high school head coach. Mm -hmm. um, big shout out to my uh, junior college coach, uh, Bill Muse, and also, like I mentioned, Corliss Williamson, my college, my Division One head coach at Central Arkansas. He really, he he really kind of just helped push me into understanding just life. Is it's, it's just not even just basketball. Just you know, just like just to keep to keep the grind, keep it going, and and you have to. Whatever you put out is on is what you're gonna get. What you whatever you put out is what you're gonna get back. Absolutely, absolutely. The, the, these are uh, wise words. Uh, absolutely, and and uh, that takes us to the next uh, point where uh, I am asking you, how did you end up here? But let me introduce your situation because I think there is a beautiful uh, a story behind it. Um, right out of college, you had a nice gig going on with the D League. And then um, another no, gig, and then after college, I went to I signed in Hungary first. Oh, even better. Okay. Yeah. And then I signed in Hungary, and I got cut there. Okay, so you got cut there, and mm -hmm. so that's one down. And then you had one up with the D League, and then uh, Mexico did not stick that much. But then you started getting some traction with the gig in Portugal. And let me uh, brag for you. Uh, 12 points, six rebounds, one and a half assists, and two steals for a guy your size is pretty special. Um, and then uh, once Colombia came about uh, with 22.5, uh, uh, six rebounds and 3.5 um, assists, from there on, it was all 
kind of improving i don't want to say smooth ride but because in basketball there is never a smooth ride but it was um it was uh constant improving from what i see and and what we spoke about um in germany with 22 games 18 uh 7 and 4 and then uh now with the uh worcester uh wolves which is if i'm not mistaken 14 6 and 3 so something yeah, in this something like that i haven't looked at it. Okay, so it's not something about that, but that's that's the idea. So, so this is kind of a, a, a two and a half years of improvement after a few bumpy situations where things worked and then didn't work, and then and now you have two and a half years together that you put together really nicely, that working well. So, um, how how did you did you imagine this uh, uh, journey to be this way? Oh, absolutely not. <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> okay. Not. And the. The hardest part is being cut and then having to go home and then still be in the gym, working hard, waiting on the job, you know what I mean? And not, not even knowing that, hey, this may, this may not even happen, but I'm just going to keep keep working and keep working and keep working. That was the hardest part for me. Because but, at this point, you don't know if there is any other job coming your way. Absolutely. You don't know. Only thing you can do is network. I learned, like I said, I learned how to... I just learned how to kind of promote myself in a, in a different way, kind of just seeing how the market goes. And I actually have a documentary coming out uh, that I'm speaking about this whole situation. Great. We did. So, okay. Yeah. Once, once it comes out, I'll be happy to link it uh, down below the, uh, uh, this video. That would be great. Perfect. Perfect. Okay. Absolutely. Awesome. So what are two tips to a, a young kid, young guy, fresh out of college that want to get to your uh, situation? Two tips. First, I would say, um, obviously, don't ever stop working. If you have a goal, if you have it, if it's in your mind, it will it will manifest. If you just just keep it in your mind, it's already there. You just have to you just have to grab it. You know what I mean? I love so it. Don't yes. Stop working, regardless of what it looks like, regardless of what people are saying to you. Uh, you need to because I had people telling me because I had my degree as well from Central Arkansas. Like, you just need to use your degree and forget about basketball but i'm like you know i i don't want to do that i'm not passionate i i have the heart for basketball that's what i want to do so who would just, believe that the degree would be a downside right exactly exactly, <laughs> exactly. wow that that's that's inspiring that that's that's beautiful and so and then the sec just like i said don't ever stop working don't ever give up because like i said only people that fail are the ones that give up and number two is don't chase the money just, I, I, will, I will say more or less, um, go after the opportunity and continue to play in better leagues. Just make sure you're not playing in the same leagues over and over again, the same low-level leagues. Build on what you – build on your on your career as far as just, like, you play in – and it's like I played, um, like, like, last season I was fourth league Germany. Now I'm in United Kingdom. So it's like a, it's a level up. Just continue to, to move up. The money will come. The money will come. Right. But just so don't settle. Up. Don't settle for a lesser league for a few more bucks because it doesn't worth it. Yeah, but if if that's the only opportunity that you have, take it. Whatever you know, if they offer you, I know some crazy numbers like eight hundred, nine hundred a month. But that's the, if you want to play, and that's the only thing you have, you have to take it. But at the same time, you have to understand to you can't go here and just be playing around. You have to kill. Yes, yeah. yes, and let me since since we got uh, so deep into it, um, let me ask you this: How important it is at this point when we're talking about lower numbers, when we're talking about entry level, uh, how important it is to get the right conditions, meaning uh, to have an apartment, not necessarily for yourself you can share, but that they pay for the apartment, they pay for the um, uh, transportation uh, yeah. from the apartment to the uh, facility, as well as the. Uh, airplane ticket, the airfare, uh, home and back, or or to the country and back. Right, right, right. Yeah, that, that stuff has to be taken care of. Foods, obviously, because if you're making X amount, not that much, you won't have enough, you won't be able to save any money if you're always buying food. But food, like you said, accommodation, travel, things like that. Yeah, they, they the team takes care of that. But, you know, you have to take care of business on the court if you want to move away from those like you say entry level situations right and one more thing about the entry level situation um 
I see players and I hear players that once they get to the country and once they see that the, um, not nasty, but the not as good or not as college level quality league uh, they're playing in, sometimes they get cold feet and they say, oh, let me look for another uh, opportunity. Let me uh, get something else here in the country. And then the head coach is uh, hearing that they're not happy and they cut them without even bringing any other import instead yeah so that, that did you did you see guys doing things like that or the things of that nature that either talking bad about the team or or once they figure it's a entry it's a real entry level and nobody was joking about this is an entry level job <laughs> people get cold feet and like oh i'm out of here yeah i've seen yeah i've seen it a lot i've seen and that's just guys playing themselves out of their situation and playing themselves out of their opportunity you know what I mean? Because it, I mean, it's not going to be, I don't know what, uh, guys that think coming from the state, from college, think that it's just you go overseas and you make $100,000 a year and then everything's good. And it's yeah. just smooth it's ride. Good. They're looking for the smooth ride, right? Yeah, it's a grind. And I always compare it to, like, because I, when I was at home after being cut, I had to work jobs. and I was So I look at the math like, okay, I'm basically making the same amount of money per month if I'm making $1,000 per month tax-free overseas that I'm making working a, a regular job back home, not you just, you know, just your normal job or whatever. It's basically the same money. So would you rather be moving furniture or working at a cash register or playing basketball for the same exact money in a different country where you should be getting out, networking, and getting to meet people because the opportunity to be in a whole different country is crazy. Yes. Yes, absolutely. I love it. Yes, absolutely. Um, okay, so we're going personal again. Uh, one tip for a younger you. What what would you like to tell your, um, and I'll let you choose between the age of 18 or 23, 22. So fresh out of high school or college, it's up to you. But a younger you, what would you tell you? The younger me, I would tell me that um, that it's not going to be easy. Yeah. I would, yeah, I will say that it's not going to be easy. It's not going to be, it's going to be a grind and just be ready for it. But at the same time, trust the, trust your process because at the end of the day, the cream's going to rise to the top. You know what I mean? Just keep yes. working. That, that's one thing I can say, man. Just don't give up. Don't give okay. up. Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, what is a, a, a habit or a ritual that you have um, that keeps you on track? that you can share with us? Something that makes you better, gets you better, puts you in the right state? Okay, well, I'm a very spiritual person. I believe, you know, I serve Jesus and I get I wake up, pray every morning. I get in my Bible every morning and read. But outside of that, just basketball stuff, I'm always in the gym. I'm always taking care of my body, stretching and stuff. But like I said, just always, always, always. Actually, just before this interview, I was in the gym putting some work in with my roommate, so get some shots in. Got a game tomorrow, but that those are the two things for me. You know, being absolutely. spiritual and um, staying in the gym. Okay, absolutely awesome, great. Thank you very much, Robert. Really appreciate uh, you took the time uh, uh, to share these uh, stories and information with us. It really be appreciated by uh, our students. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Absolutely. And go, those guys, they tell those guys to keep working. Absolutely. Absolutely. When is your uh, next game? The next game is tomorrow against Sheffield. Okay. Okay. Sheffield, Sheffield Wednesday? Who, who's that? Who? Sheffield Wednesday. That's the uh, uh, their uh, uh, soccer team, I believe. Oh, I have no idea. No? Okay. I thought maybe I need, since... I need, I need, to, I need to start going researching some soccer games. <laughs> to go since that's the club, so, and, you know, it, it goes in Europe by clubs, not by, you know, schools and such, so... I think that's that's the name. I think I'm not even sure. I did homework on you. I didn't do homework on your next game. It's, uh, I'll take <laughs> that's, it, that's you know, on job. me. That's I'm sorry about that. So that's uh, yeah. I, I owe you one on this. Okay. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right. I'm sorry about that. Okay. Very well. So thank you very much. Let me uh, just uh, uh, let the viewers know where they can find you. It's either Robert Crawford on Facebook. Or on Instagram, you can find Rob on Rob underscore Wealthy7. 
Thank you very much for your time. And once your documentary comes out, we'll be happy to link it down below. So uh, let me know when it, once it's out. Okay, perfect. perfect. Thank okay. you so much. Great. Thank you very much and good luck tomorrow. Thank you. All right.